One thing that we've never actually gotten on Call of the Wild is a diamond mouflon. And I'd really love to get one. So we're going to try and do a little bit of hunting out here on Quacho Colinas. Well, it's not exactly a mouflon, but we got a huge red deer stag out there. About 200 yards. And we're going to go for the shot. Try to catch heart. Didn't quite do that, but definitely connected on something solid. Because he's already down. Yeah, so what I figured out is these mouflon actually don't drink in the morning anymore like they used to. Now they only drink at night, which is fine because I really want to find them resting or feeding throughout the day. But that sure is one massive stig, probably about a 220, uh, 193, and we did in fact get a nice double lung shot at about 200 yards, right over the top of the heart there, but still pretty good penetration. Boy, if that isn't one of the most messed up looking level 7 red deer stags that we've ever seen, I don't know what is. But we gotta go over this way anyways in order to get on some potential mouflon. So we are in fact gonna go for this shot. Roughly 315 yards. So we'll zero for 320 and hold for the heart. And that should be perfect. I might have gone him a little bit high. I should have held a, just a touch lower. But I do believe we still connected. It appears that we did get a vital hit, but we must have only got a single lung. Because he's going quite a ways. And our stag is down right over here. What a messed up looking rack on him though, huh? Alright, so he's a 201. But definitely one of the most ugly racks that we've seen on a 7 in quite some time. To me, that looks like the old mythical rack, which was not very cool. But it's still not very cool. Let's be real. So our shot ended up getting a single lung quartering away. And I think maybe because it was so far, we really didn't get much penetration. So overall, we did hit pretty much spot on where we were aiming for. Ooh, there we go. We just got eyes on our first herd of mouflon out here. And we got a couple of nice threes right there just to start out. There could be a bigger one though. So we want to make sure we spot them out really good. Oh, there we go. Just like that. There's a massive four. About 160 yards out right there. Bit of a tough angle. But if we hold low, I think we can make that shot count. Remember, the vitals are really low on these things. Got him. Alright, well, we took the shot over here. Right there, and there he lays. He need to go 25 yards and piled right up. So yeah, what do we got going over there? I'm not sure if that's a different herd or the same. Uh, that should be the same one. But anyways, so basically what we had to do is hold a little bit higher than what I would have liked. Because if we would have held too low, we probably would have hit the bottom of the shoulder and missed the lung and the heart. But let's pick him up. It's going to be a 147 gold and we pulled off a 160 yard shot. Yeah, it's a good thing we held a little bit higher because look, that's exactly what would have happened. Is we would have hit, well, we still would have hit heart, I suppose, but in all reality, we hit center lung. We were just a little bit forward because he was slightly quartered at us. But overall, it's still a perfect shot and a beautiful mouflon down, especially to start out the hunt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we found him. There's a lot out there. Good three, but the three isn't even any bigger than that two. Estimate wise. Well, it's the biggest one so far. So we will in fact go for a shot at about 350. That is, if he slows down. Mm, that's like 360. It's a hit, and it may be a really good hit. It's just that the fact that it was so far 
It took a while for the percentage to drop. I'm going to mark that spot. That was a hit. That was definitely a solid, solid hit. Got him. There he is. All right. So he's not quite as big as I was hoping, but still a real decent southeastern Spanish Ibex. And he is down right there. Very nice. Let's go get him. It's going to be a gold 74.74 74 and 156 yard double lung heart shot. It's actually apparently a brown hybrid. I'm not sure if that's right or not, but nonetheless, it's still a great looking Ibex. Well, as much as I was hoping we'd find these Mouflon, it's just not quite working. I know they're right over there, but we can't really see anything from here. So that's not the greatest situation now, is it? What we may do is throw on the red dot here and just pop into that tent. They may be right on top of us. Well, let's make sure we got our AR out first. And pop over there quick. They should jump up. Yep, they definitely jumped up. Oh my god. Hopefully we got something decent here. Got a good three running, and him in a spinal cord neck. We hit uh, pretty much all three of those in the exact same spot. Just got him a hair bit too far forward. Just a hair. But I'll tell you what, that worked out pretty good. All right, we got one piled up right here. And that should be the big four. 146. So he's a good size one, but not near as big as I thought. And look at that shot, you guys right in front of the lung and just behind the shoulder and going straight for the neck like in all reality that could have dropped him right on the spot but again another good move long oh there's a max weight track so we're still tracking this move on here but we just found another max weight track we may go back after that one Holy, that's a giant southeastern Spanish Ibex. Giant. That's going to be our biggest one so far. It did spook, but I do believe it should come back. That's him. Oh, that was him right there. Oh, we could have had him. That's all right. That's all right. We should be able to get him again. We'll try and cut him off over here. So that was, in fact, a pretty big three. And again, almost the exact same spot, just a little bit too high there. That was only a 40 yard shot. Wow. Big for a three though. Real, real big for a three. Yeah, we gotta try and get on that big four. If we can figure out which direction he's heading to, we might be able to cut him off. They gotta cut through here somewhere. Well, where is he? There, there he is right there. Smoked him. We got him. All right, here he is. This is gonna be a massive Ibex. It's gonna be an 80 gold. We got him at 103 yards. Running double lung spine shot. So 89.6 is diamond. That is by far our biggest Southeastern Spanish Ibex right there. Look at the size of that thing. All right, those mouflons should be right around this point here. And if we're patient enough, we might get eyes on them. Holy huge dag, huge dag. 
Oh my god, I think we smoked him. Come on, tell me we smoked that thing. If we didn't, we definitely got intestined. Which will take it down, but that was a massive, massive stag, and I would have loved to make an incredible shot. Nope. We didn't get him. Yep, we did get him. And we got an intestine hit, I'll guarantee that. Son of a... That's non-vital hit. That's exactly what I thought was gonna happen and was hoping wasn't gonna happen. All right, we got our red deer stag down right here. And our shot actually did connect on intestine and stomach. Just got him a little bit too far back, but 185. So overall, not quite as big as I thought he was gonna be. Cause the one side is not very big at all. Yeah, all right, I thought we had to go over here and take a look at that Ibex that we took at about 400 yards. And it's laying right here. Didn't quite make a good enough shot. We were actually 411 yards and 65.19. Wasn't big enough to be gold anyways, but our shot, almost the same exact situation on the red deer that we just shot a little while ago. The shot was good, just a tad bit too far back. Um, considering it was such a far shot, we lost the kinetic energy that we needed to go through and get into a lung. So it's not that we were, it's not that it was a bad shot, it's just that from the angle that it was at, we really needed to be a little bit more forward. All right, I think this is going to be our biggest mouflon of the hunt. We just spotted a huge four. In fact, he was actually calling down in there and I think he must have embedded with a couple other ones. We spotted a few of them, but all I saw was threes, and then there was one that just wouldn't quite show itself. I could see it had a pretty good set of horns on them, but I couldn't tell how big. So then we came over here to try and figure out where it was, and it jumped up, and I saw it's a huge four. It's got those back curls and everything, so he's an absolute beast of a mouflon. Oh, that potentially could be another herd of mouflon. Oh. Maybe it's the same one. All right, come on. This is going to be our opportunity right here. It's got to be. All we got to do is catch eyes on him going down here. Okay, well, there goes one there, but that's not him. Where are they? Right there, right there. Whole entire herd of them. Huge four right there bedded. And a good three there. Wow. That is awesome. See, that's what it's all about right there. We're out here spotting these massive valleys like this. And we came across just this incredible herd of mouflon out here. Now the strange part is, I don't know where our big four went that we just had tracks from. Unless... Ah. He might be over there, 270 yards out. Now I'm wondering if these may, yeah, they're definitely gonna spook, but that one might not spook. Nonetheless, this is a giant. So we're gonna go for a shot. And remember, we got a hold low. How far did I say that was? 215. We gotta go prone. I can't believe it. But we absolutely messed up the shot. In fact, I know exactly what just happened. It wasn't that we weren't low enough. We were plenty low, but we were a little bit too far to the right. We were too far forward. And because we did that, there's nothing up there except for the shoulder. Which in reality, yeah, you could go through and get double shoulder and probably click the lung, but in this case here, we had nothing but bone. And that is the first spot. Not very good. And the second spot that we hit him was right there, no organs hit, twice in a row. Very nice. If you couldn't tell, I'm being a little bit sarcastic, but why is it saying no organs hit? Medium. 
I wonder if we shot him in the spine. If we got him in the vertebrae, that could be pretty cool too, I suppose. All right, it's going to be a 156 in our second shot. Yeah, we were too far forward. That's it. The vitals on these things are a little bit further back, which is very odd, but I kind of knew that from the start. See, if you look, the front shoulder, the heart should ideally be right here, right? And the lung should be all the way up to here. But it's not. The lungs are actually further back on these things. They end right here. So our shot was wide right. Just nicked a shoulder. What a massive ram though. And the follow-up shot. Got him on the run. Oh my god, would that have been an amazing save. If we were down another two inches. Look at that shot. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Our lead was absolutely spot on accurate. We were just a little bit too high. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And that is going to be it for this video. Our biggest move flan of the hunt. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.